Jump right into it, man. Let's go. No more talking, uh. Let's go. No more talking, uh. Let's go. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Once again, thank you for checking in with me. Y'all are in for a special edition of your boy DJ LS. Cozy Cognac Nights. What's happening? But right now, what we're going to do... Check out this Bosch Gabrielson. When I'm browsing through the liquor stores, you know, my motive, my objective is to find something that I, I already know about, I like, but every now and then something just catches my eye and I say, well, let me try it out. I'll, you know, I'll pick it up, read about it and all right, let me try it out, you know. So that's what I did with this. I'm browsing, saw this thing right here, Bosch Gabrielson, and what made me grab it I won't lie, be totally honest with you guys, is this right here. That right there made me grab this bottle. And of course, reading the, descript the description also helped out as well. But <laughs> nevertheless, this is what we're gonna get into, Bosch Gabrielson. Uh, I'll just read the little paragraph of notes very quickly. It's a blend of selected distillates from uh, Grand Champagne, 65% and Petite Champagne, 35%. In addition, it's made from 95% Ugne Blanc grapes and 5% Columbard and Folle Blanche. Uh, it has a dark golden color, elegant complex bouquet of spices, dry fruit, flowers, and a hint of citrus. Uh, distinctive and powerful, but not heavy. Superior concentration of flavor. You know, we love that. Rounded attack with a long, elegant finish. And it also has the clear stamp of more than 15 years in the cask. That's what we want. As I said, man, I, I grabbed this, man. I saw the box and I was like, whoa. It took me by surprise. I'd never seen a box like this. So, you know, just with the box, opening the box, you know how we give the grapes. Five grapes being the best. The only reason I'm not giving this five grapes is because of the material that it's made with. It's not as strong and sturdy as it may look and seem, but it's so pretty. You know what I mean? It opens like this. I've never seen a box open like this. Here's the bottle here. But just from the bottle, sitting here in this wood like this, is, I don't even know if that's real, but you know, <laughs> nevertheless, man, I'll give this a four grape for the box just because it's pretty. But, and the only reason I'm saying no fives is simply because it's not that sturdy. It's not that strong finish. You know what I mean? So we'll sit this here, talk about this bottle. Bosch Gabrielson bottle. I will give this four grapes, four grapes for the bottle. So we're gonna check out this, we're gonna pop this top. Check out this cork here. Okay, the cork, it's not a heavy cork, pretty light. Um, yeah, it's not heavy at all. But like I said, the bottle, I still give the bottle of, of four grapes. Uh, nice little thick little base here. You know, it's got a little weight to it, nothing too heavy, but yeah, I give it a four grapes. All right, just uh, off glance, I, I do see this. It's a little dark, a little dark color, golden. It's a little dark golden. Uh, the legs, won't say we got a lot of legs. I won't say I have a lot of legs, it's okay. It's rocking a little in there. It smells pretty good. 
Smell it. Okay. Okay. This is my first time trying this right here out. A lot of the uh, reviews that I'll be doing, I've already tried them. I already know what's going on. This right here, brand new to me. You know, I'm, I'm viewing this for the first time, guys. So bear with me. Wow. This, this is a... Uh, it's pretty exceptional. Um, okay, for the sniff test here uh, uh, and color, I'm gonna have to say a four grape because I do like the dark richness color and the smell is smell is pretty good. So so far, the box presentation, bottle, color, and smell all get four grapes right now. This is it's pretty unique. And of course, the test. Okay, okay. First taste, the first hint that I get is a slight bit of alcohol. I'm tasting a little bit of alcohol. It's not, it's not your smooth, laid back, you know what I mean, hit your tongue feel that I get from this right here. It's a slight bit of alcohol. But it does have a, a pretty distinctive taste, whereas you can sort of taste the fruits and the citrus and all of that. It's mixed up in there, you can taste that. But as far as giving this a five or even a four grape for taste, ah, man, I won't be able to do it, guys. I won't be able to do it. Wow. Listen, this is an XO. It's definitely been aged. Um, on my bar, this would not be one of the tops. It, it, it wouldn't. Um, I've got a quite long list of cognacs we do. We try here and this wouldn't even be top 10. It's good, but it wouldn't be top 10. There's a lot of great cognacs out there, guys. So I'm not trying to say that this is a bad drink because it's not by far, but it's not great. So three grapes <laughs> on taste, man. Three grapes is what I'm giving this. Can't give it a four, definitely not a five. It's nowhere close, uh, but I'll be nice. I give this a three from with the price point to taste simply because it's priced. It's priced okay. Cozy Cognac Nights is gonna sign off, man. I'm DJ LS. Hope you guys have a happy holidays. You know, drink up, toast up, man. Drink responsibly, of course. Get you some Bosch Gabrielson on your favorite cognac XO. Cozy cognac nights, man. Bosch Gabrielson. Get some.